Okay, hello again. JJ, the lonely bull in Asia, wanted to check in today. It's um, about six o'clock in the evening, just about uh, ready for the sun to go down, but you can see uh, I'm up in my condo because it's raining really hard. Uh, we've got a typhoon in the area that's coming this way, and I wanted to give you an update, and then just kind of talk a little bit about what you need to expect as far as the weather is concerned here in the Philippines. For those of you that live here or have visited here uh, several occasions, uh, you know what the uh, weather is like, what the seasons are like here. For those of you that are thinking about coming here, either just as a vacation or a holiday, uh, visit um, you know, your Filipino loved one or uh, planning on moving here and you haven't been here before, let me kind of tell you what to expect as far as the weather is concerned. So we're really, uh, in, in the Philippines, there's really two seasons, two seasons in the country, wet season and dry season. Um, and that's based upon the amount of rainfall. So it's also dependent on the location. Uh, so <clears throat> it just kind of depends where you're at, but the warmest months of the year are generally March through October and then the winter monsoons brings in cooler temperatures from November to February. Uh, May is the warmest uh, month of the year. You'll see temperatures well into the 90s or the mid uh, 30s centigrade or Celsius um, during those months. So we are in the warm months now. So this rain here is actually a nice uh, relief from the, the heat we've had over the last few weeks. Uh, it's been really warm here. Uh, to be honest, I've never had my head sweat until I moved here. <laughs> my head sweats, the, uh, the crook in my arms where my elbows are, that sweats now. That's never happened to me before. I've never had my head sweat before until I moved here. I've been in temperatures in, in the hundreds, but nothing, it's, it's a little different here. And I've heard people say it's a lot like Florida in the summer, uh, possibly. Um, but it's a, it's a different kind of heat, as they say. So, so we're in the warmest part. Uh, January, February would be the coolest months uh, of the year. So really, when we talk about those two seasons, from January to May, or sometimes December to May, that's your dry period, that's your dry season. Uh, from June to December uh, is your wet season. So. From January to May, it'll be a little cooler. Uh, you'll have cooler temps uh, starting in that, that November month, uh, all the way through February and into March. Um, starting in March, mid to late March into April, it'll start getting real hot again uh, through May. And it'll remain hot even into the rainy season. When rainy season starts in June, and we're a little early because of that typhoon, um, when rainy season starts, you'll still have that hot period you'll have um, it'll be hot during the months of June through about October and then it'll start cooling down after that through the end of the year so really when they when they talk about wet season and when storms really roll in they're talking about the burr months you'll, you'll hear a lot of people say the burr months here so September October November December uh, those are the months where you're going to get a lot of rainfall and a lot of storms so that kind of gives you a rundown of um, what to expect weather-wise as far as uh, temperatures and dry and wet seasons. So we have, two, we have two seasons here, not four like you do in the West. Uh, two seasons, dry and rainy. Okay, let's give you an update on what's going on with this super typhoon Mawar. It's heading, um, it, it, it went through Guam uh, earlier today and now it's past Guam and it's heading toward what originally was the track was originally going to go through uh, the Mindanao area or south of Mindanao and then turn northward toward Taiwan. So I thought here in Manila and in in Luzon, I thought we were going to miss it. But now they're looking at this track uh, heading right toward northern Luzon which is the northernmost island of the Philippines. And from what I'm seeing here, uh, it should 
be probably Sunday evening or Monday at some point where um, it starts turning north and possibly missing um, the Philippines completely and heading right toward Taiwan directly. So right now the, the uh, winds are about 175 miles per hour. Uh, they're expected to slow down a little bit when they get closer to the Philippines to about 145 down to 125 before it starts heading north to Taiwan. So that's just a quick update what we have right now as of about 5 o'clock this evening uh, Philippines time here on a Thursday evening. So there you go. That I just wanted to give you an update um, for family and friends. Uh, there's no imminent danger right now. Um, we're just going to get a lot of rain in the next few days and it was really lightning and thundering earlier I should have started my video then so you guys could hear the light see the lightning and hear the thunder um, but right now there's it's just rain and you can see a little bit of lightning every once in a while off in the distance but uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on as far as the weather and just kind of give you an idea of what it's like here in the Philippines weather-wise. If you like warm weather, you're going to love it here. If you like uh, wet weather, uh, you'll love it here too. But if you if you don't mind, uh, if you want to get out of the cold, then come to the Philippines. Now, you can, during these hot seasons, you can go to places like Baguio, which is in northern north of here, north of uh, Manila, or you can go to Tagaytay, which is south of Manila, uh, the altitude's a little higher there. There are also islands um, around the Philippines that have mountainous regions. Uh, if you go to Dumaguete, you can go up to, in Valencia, and it's a little higher altitude, and you'll get cooler temperatures there, and it's quite pleasant, actually, in, in those places. So if you want to get away from the heat, that's the, that's the place. Those are the places you want to go. You want to find these higher altitudes, and you can find them here in the Philippines. <clears throat> they're, they're all over in the islands, so... You just have to kind of look around and ask around and, 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 you know, maybe do a little research. But, hey, by all means, come on out. It's a great place to be. It's more fun in the Philippines. Um, please, as always, uh, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new uh, material. I try to do it at least every other day if possible. Um, give me those comments too and let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. Uh, I will get to, to a restaurant review as far as prices here in BGC. I've got the video for that. It's kind of long. It's about 35-40 minutes but I think I'm just going to post it and you guys can kind of fast forward and watch where you want. But I want to get that out too and I'll probably get that out in the next day or two. So until then, uh, you guys have a great one. Uh, we're just hunkered down in my uh, 22nd floor of my condo and uh, watching the light show uh, that uh, Mother Nature is providing us here in the Philippines and kind of keeping a track, keeping track of Super Typhoon Mawar, which is at this point a Category 4. It was, I think, earlier a Category 5, but now it's down to a Category 4. So I think things are starting to, it's moving slow. So when it does, wherever it hits, it's going to dump a lot of rain and you're going to have a lot of wind for a lot of uh, time because it's moving really slow. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it, and I'll keep you up to date. I might do some short videos on it if anything happens as far as uh, it turning course or changing course or anything like that. So um, once again, I appreciate everybody's subscription and everybody uh, viewing my channel. I really do appreciate that, and um, I appreciate the likes too. So have a great night and a great morning if you're over in the west side, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.